When playing a video game, you're bound to run across many different types of people. Some of them are funny, some of them are disturbing, some of them are the reincarnation of everything cringeworthy mashed into a single solid being. But no matter how you may describe these types of people you encounter online, there is one other type of entity that you probably know about, but you haven't seen too often or you've repressed. Those possible bots? that join pubs and mic spam gospel. If you've never had the pleasure of meeting these mysterious entities, then I must say you've missed out on quite the damn treat. For those sad fuckers who are out of the loop, the name I've unofficially given them are the mic spamming Christian bots. That name is pretty self-explanatory. When playing TF2 in a pub, there's a slight chance of you coming across some fucker who just wants to mic spam their retarded ass edgy shit, and they think they're the god's greatest gift to humor. Those six-year-old videos that people just roll their eyes over thinking, Oh boy, I can't wait to hear that same smexual or edgy song for the sake of being edgy overplayed, or a racist Johnny Rebel song. Uh, by the way, I'm looking to make a parody of If I Could Be a Nigger for a Day by him. I cannot find the life of me, the instrumental version of that song. If anyone could please help me out, let me know. I'd greatly appreciate it. However, this is something different. This is a much more odd case than the 14 year old redditor who desperately wants a friend. These are the mic spamming Christian gospel bots that will join your game just like any other player would. However, as soon as you see their name pop up in the blank has joined the game text chat, their name won't be a traditional online handle. Instead, it'll be a YouTube link. And assuming if you were to click on that link, it would take you to the page of, on YouTube that they're mic spamming. And what they're playing is Christian Gospel. I've not had the chance to click on their profiles because almost as soon as they join the server and they start mic spamming, they're almost kicked immediately by some other player on the server. Looking up information on these bots only yields very few results. I have only found a few Steam discussion pages on them and a Reddit board. And even the Steam discussion pages are about two years old from 2018. I've also seen these things been active till this day. While I haven't been playing as much TF2 as I used to, I still play it a fair amount. And these bots are still active many years later. So, what does that leave us with? Well, I think it would be best to try and unsolve mystery of this shit. I'm talking about frame by frame, did the planes really collapse the tower, hidden explosions in the building, dancing Israeli type of conspiracy shit analysis. First, let's talk about why these possible bots exist. Are they even bots? And no, I'm not talking about the program itself that plays the YouTube video. Are these things really bots? I think so, but we cannot neglect the possibility that these things may be the work of someone or somewhere. If the theory that these are bots is true, then what's the motivation for these exi to exist in the first place? What's their function? What's the gain for these bots or people to be controlling these bots? Let's look at possible motivating factors for these bots, or at least ones I can think of that can make sense. 1. Pure and simple shits and giggles. 2. Testing these bots for some other function. 3. Deeply religious people trying to spread the messages and teachings they believe in. 4. Rogue AIs that roam the ether known as TF2. Or 5. A very bizarre and stupid attempt to hack or compromise other people's Steam accounts or computers. Let's start with possibility 1, pure shits and giggles. On the surface, this seems like a really plausible explanation. People like to get a rise out of others and mic spamming can really do it. While not as effective as it once was years ago, it can still happen. People can get upset or laugh along, or hell, even mic spam themselves and just burn the server down with a cancerous mic spamming and raging. However, for this specific circumstance, I don't think this is the answer. I just do not see the gate of doing this, mic spamming gospel. People usually can't get mad at someone preaching, and at worst they'll just think you're annoying and either kick or mute you. I don't see the payoff of doing this for 10 minutes, let alone 2 years. I've already said that these th things have been going at it for a long time, at least since 2018, possibly longer. So why are they still around? I do not see the comedic appeal for doing this for so damn long. Also, when people mic spam, they usually play the game or go friendly or 
spin bot or do something in the game. These things just sit and spawn, spamming away. Actually, I do recall now that I'm typing this and having memories flood back to me. I recall this one bot spamming his gospel for so long that he got kicked for being AFK. No one vote kicked him. I don't know if it's because I was in a party of six and we didn't want to kick the bot or if no one really gave a shit and everyone just muted the bot, but after a while, it got vote kicked for being AFK. And I'm not talking about by a player vote. Just the server kicked him for being idle. That's kind of creepy now that you think about it. Reason 2. These bots are spamming in TF2 for some other ulterior motive. While that sounds like a very bland and generic reason, we cannot ignore it. These bots might be being used for some other reason. Now, I don't know how true this is, and this is just pure speculation, but it could be possible for these bots to be used for some other purpose. Could be for programming, some very bizarrely connected trade bot, possible future burner accounts for cheaters that are using them to gain fake hours on TF2. These bots could be part of a bigger unknown scheme that we may ultimately never know. Reason 3. The deeply religious people trying to spread the messages and teachings they believe in. This hypothesis I can see. Judging by the Steam discussion posts I have read, one person pointed out one of the bots that was mic spamming was playing Jehovah Witness Gospel. As I have yet to click on the links in their names, and I doubt I ever will, I have to wonder what type of Christianity is it. Being a spiritual man myself, I can not only relate to a degree of the teachings and preachings the bots are saying when I listen in on them for the brief amount of time they're in the server, I can almost identify most of what they're saying. So I can say with almost certainty it is a branch of Christianity. If I ever were to click on the links in their names, I'd probably find my answer. But for now, I do not know. Are there other forms of religious bots spamming their gospel? Judaism, Buddhism, Baptism, etc.? I cannot say. I've yet to see other bots like this. Reason 4. Rogue AI that roam in the ether known as TF2. Arguably a very unlikely scenario, we still cannot look away at this. Could this perhaps be like Reason 2 where it's bots that were being used for some ulterior motive, but somehow these bots went rogue? And the owners cannot reel them back in anymore. While this sounds like the beginning of a very stupid and cliche creepypasta, this still can happen. Computer programs and AIs in the past have acted up or done very bizarre things. From that AI Sophia saying it wants to destroy humanity to Google Home robots talking to themselves saying how this world would be better if there were less humans on it. While very creepy to talk about, this possibility is still very, very unlikely. Still possible, however, because instead of talking about committing genocide, these bots are just spamming gospel in TF2 servers. Reason 5. A very bizarre and stupid attempt to hack or compromise people's Steam accounts or computers. Really, this theory sounds more like a schizo talking, but this is still possible even if very, very improbable. If people were to click on that YouTube link, there is a possibility that that link really isn't YouTube, and it could be some kind of login logger of some kind, where it asks you to log into Steam or YouTube in order to see or view what you're trying to look at, when in reality the website is stealing your information while looking legit. A very old but still very effective hacker tactic to this day. If it didn't work, people wouldn't be using it still to scam people. Also, out of curiosity, you could click on the bot's Steam profile, and it could have a whole host of other links that will, tempt, that will tempt you to click on it. Really, this does sound very improbable, but it's always a possibility. However, there are much, MUCH better ways of scamming people. Hell, those foreigners or AIs that add you on Steam with their copy and paste bullshit of saying your items are duplicated and will be deleted or you need to verify your item's legitimacy have a much better success rate than these odd bots if stealing credentials was their ultimate goal. So here, I have laid out the case file on these very weird entities. These gospel-spewing, spiritually inspiring, soul-opening, and just in general, very bizarre entities known as the mic spamming Christian bots? My only concern with making a video like this is that it'll inspire others to copy the bots and LARP as them, muddying the mysterious enigma that these things radiate. 
Because we know people always will try and piggyback off of other things and the success they bring. <sighs> Aside from that, these things are just kinda weird and creepy. I wanted to make this video just to catalog them for the sake of cataloging. You know, so when you look back on this game in 10 to 20 years and you remember all the little things that this game had that made you enjoy it, but the more you think and ponder this weird ass thing, these bots, the creepier of a concept they become. They are just out there, all hours of the day, spamming their gospel. Like a siren blaring a warning sign or creepy message out into an abandoned or dead city. Where very few, if any, people hear it. And the ones who do hear it, well, at least you have a prayer to say to yourself whenever you truly, truly need it.